What is up guys, my name is John Dawson and I am currently building a 1300 square foot off grid house and I'm doing it completely solo. I would love for you guys to follow along. We are doing an entire series on this build. So if you want to watch it, please hit the subscribe button, like the video and without any more wasted time, let's dive into the build. All right guys, so we're picking up where we left off on the last video, which was getting a rough squared setup for my build site. And now we're actually getting the auger bit put onto the skitster and we're gonna dig pier holes. But first I'm gonna reset my jet stakes and then I'm gonna get my site level and actually get it honed in uh, more specifically. And then we'll spray paint and start digging. Okay, so what I'm doing right now with this, uh, with this site level, with this laser level, is figuring out where our, our high point is, which happens to be this back corner here behind me. Um, and where our low level is, which is obviously down there um, at the bottom. I'm not too sure how high it is. What I'm trying to figure out is where I'm gonna set my ledger boards. So um, if I set my ledger boards flush with the ground, by the time I, I send my string line down to the bottom part of the, uh, of the uh, build site, the board is gonna be three, four feet below where it needs to be. So I know down there I'm about maybe three feet off the ground on both sides and up here I can be flush with the dirt. So I'm gonna set my ledger boards up here flush with the dirt. Then I'm gonna take this site level down there again with a tape measure and measure how far it actually is off of the ground. Um, and that way I can see, I can, I can set my ledger boards at the right space. We'll be able to get a nice um, level and square build site and once that's done i'm going to mark out where my piers are going to go and then i'm going to start digging some some holes so um this is the most important part of the build if you can spend time on this even if you're frustrated and you spend two three days on this part i promise you you're going to save yourself a week down the road by having this square having this level and not having to jerry rig or tear things out and put them back in down the road make sure you spend as much time as needed on this um, I'm already moving slower than I want to be moving, but in the end, I, it's totally worth it. I know that, and I hope you guys do the same thing if you ever do this yourself. So right now, what I'm going to do is set these two ledger boards, um, and then I'm going to measure the bottom part of the, the slab and, and do that down there. All right, guys, so we're going to talk real quick about the laser level and or the sight level and what it does. So first off, you set your laser, which is on that tripod. Um, at a certain point doesn't really matter where it is as long as it has a sight line to your, your all corners that you need to measure then you take your your stick or your level or your rod whatever you put your receiver on and you can hear that beeping so that beeping is letting me know whether I need to go up or down and then when I figure out when I get that constant beep I know that I'm perfectly level um, all the way around so if I hold it one foot off the ground here in the front and I hear a constant beep and I hold it three feet off the ground down at the far end and I hear a constant beep I know that those two spots are going to be level so now I can set my ledger boards I can pull my lines pull my string lines and I'll have a fairly level uh, string line uh, due to where I set my ledger boards now these aren't going to be perfect these are just rough so that I can get my pier holes dug once I get the pier holes dug, I'll pull these strings again, double check level, then set my sauna tubes. When I set my sauna tubes is when I'll go back with the sight level and really, really hone it into being exactly precise because that's going to be the level of the concrete that's poured inside of these sauna tubes, which will be where my beams will sit, which will actually be the basis of my foundation. So right now we did the sight level, we got level, we kind of know where it's going to sit. We know exactly where our pier holes are going to be. So now I'm starting to dig the pier holes. Once I dig the pier holes, I'll go back around with the site level when I'm setting my sauna tube. And that will be the final grade of my foundation so that it'll end up being perfect. Um, when you're digging these pier holes, I'm using a, I believe it was a 12 inch auger. But I was, I was kind of moving it around a little bit because I needed to make it around, I think I made it around 14 inches. And I was going down until I hit bedrock. So you can see here, um, you can see the front tires of that skid steer kind of kind of coming up off the ground. That's because I really want to pressure and go as deep as I possibly can. Interestingly enough, I found that um, the top holes here uh, closest to the camera ended up going down, I think maybe four feet, five feet maybe. Um, and as I went further down the hill, uh, my pier holes started, ended up being like six and a half, seven feet deep. Um, I think that auger bit right there is about five and a half feet. So you can see that it's going down there, you know, even then, you know, I, I dug it out even more after that. 
um, but you want to go until you start hitting rock and then your your auger bit will just kind of spin on that rock and you won't be able to really get past it and then you'll know that you're on on bedrock um, so then I have to go back around with my post hole digger clean out all the loose dirt at the bottom because you don't want that to compact and sink your foundation over time so I had to go through each hole dig out the dirt the loose dirt um, I created a bell curve at the bottom I don't have a video of it but basically I kind of curved out the bottom of the um, hole so that there was a little bit of a um, larger flat portion of the hole at the bottom which kind of helps with upheave and just overall gives you a larger base for your concrete footing um, I tried to get it around I don't know I think it ended up being like 15 16 inches it wasn't as much as I wanted but it, it worked um, but just make sure you clear out the loose dirt make sure the bottom of your pier hole is flat and then uh, on the next video guys we're going to start pouring concrete setting sauna tube and getting this thing framed up so hope to see you on the next one if you haven't please subscribe like comment if you have any questions and um, I'll see you guys on the next one much love y'all